If you've been with us recently, you'll know that in Central Oregon we've had a lot of snow recently, getting over two feet of snow within a one week period, breaking the all time record here in Central Oregon for the most snow within a 24 hour period, and it's been continual flurry after flurry since then. The sun is finally out again, we've got blue skies, it's absolutely gorgeous, but there's been a lot of headaches for not only myself, but for many other motorists around town over the last couple of weeks, and it's given me some motivation to increase my total supply of recovery gear. Um, not only to be able to help myself get out of sticky situations, but also to be able to help others around town next time that we get a big dump of snow. And so in today's video, I wanna talk about some of my new recovery gear. Now, before I get too far into the new recovery gear, I wanted to show you the tow rope that I've been working with over the last two winters. In 2017, we had a very similar heavy snowfall and everything was sold out around town. We had buildings collapsing, uh, people were raking snow off their roofs, everything sold out. Ladders were sold out, snow shovels, snow blowers, people were buying out everything. And unfortunately with that, it was hard to get a good uh, tow rope uh, during that storm. And so over the last two years, I've been working with this uh, fine piece right here. Um, it's got a total weight capacity of just over 2,200 pounds. Uh, pretty cheap, Walmart find, uh, not ideal for uh, pulling out a vehicle of this size, or really any vehicle to be honest, probably better is um, you know for pulling an inner tube or something in the snow. Um, you'll see that this one has reached the end of its life. So we put it to the limit, pulling out a full-size van actually. So it was successful in pulling out the full-size van, uh, but no longer useful. And Obviously didn't want to make that same mistake of buying a product that wasn't going to be durable for the long run. And so I decided to do some research this time around, buy something online and get a really good high quality product that was going to last for the long term. And that uh, led me to Rhino USA. So this is my new Rhino USA toe strap. You'll see it's got a really nice clean appearance to it. The green just really pops. Both of the people that I've pulled out so far commented on how nice the toe strap looked. It's available in either an eight foot tree saver length or you can get in a 20 foot or 30 foot length. The eight foot strap is gonna cost you $20, 20 foot strap is 37, and this 30 foot strap is $46. You'll see on the tag here, it's got a maximum load limit of 10,663 pounds and the max brake strength is 31,518 pounds. So much more durable than what we had before. And for the Tacoma, it's gonna be more than adequate because I don't plan on pulling any more than 10,000 pounds. Tow capacity is 6,400, so we don't really plan on going much beyond that. The next item that we've got is this two pack of D-rings or shackles. They're a three quarter inch and they've got a total brake strength of just over 41,000 pounds, which is a good thing. In a towing situation, I would prefer to have the strap brake before the shackles, because um, you don't want one of these snapping back. So you want these to be the strongest connection. Um, the shackles come in a two pack for $30, and then you'll see this one here has a shackle isolator on it. Uh, this is an additional option. Um, you can get a two pack of the isolators with four washers for $11. The next item that we've got is this two inch receiver shackle. Um, and this is basically the same thing we've got with the shackle, but it's connected to this little insert that will go into your two inch receiver on your vehicle. Um, and you can leave it there in place. So you've got the little toe pin goes through right here to keep it secured. You'll see this one's also got an isolator on it. So I got that two pack, I used one on here, one on this side, and then those washers that I was mentioning, those insert right in here. So I've got one here and I've got one on this side. And what that does is it prevents that metal to metal contact. And so this isn't gonna make noise and it's not gonna scratch the paint off of either of these two items. Um, and so it's kind of a nice little add on just to give it a little bit smoother operation and keep it a little quieter and in better condition. Uh, the purpose of the isolator here is that it basically does the same thing. It protects the uh, shackle from scratching or wear uh, due to the rope um, connection here. Just to show you real quick how this works here, you can take the two inch receiver shackle, insert it into your two inch receiver, and then you just put your towing pin through the side there and you can leave it secured to the vehicle at all times. Creates a really easy accessible point uh, to pull other vehicles out or to get pulled out yourself if needed without a whole lot of setup. And so I'm really excited about this new product uh, for my vehicle. Um, I mentioned that I pulled out an F-350 yesterday. Let me show you a clip of that real quick. The rope's tight. I will tell you right now. Now 
Now, unfortunately, the F-350 is above the towing capacity of the Tacoma, and really I was taking a risk pulling that individual out, but I wanted to be able to help them. Um, unfortunately, in the process, I damaged my hitch here by connecting to this point, which really proves the importance of using the D-ring shackle. It creates a very strong point to connect uh, your vehicle for towing uh, situations without risking as much damage to your own vehicle. And so that was a good lesson for me not to uh, use this side portion here. Uh, hopefully the D-ring shackle receiver is going to uh, prevent similar situations in the future. So I'm really excited about this new collection of recovery gear items and on top of these items I've got a number of additional things headed my way in the next week or so and so stay tuned for more updates. Uh, I may have gone a little overboard with the snowstorm but it's going to be nice to have a good collection uh, for future events. Um, Hopefully these things are going to enable me to have a little more confidence to get out and do a little bit more with the Tacoma, but hopefully won't make the mistake of getting ourselves in over our heads either. Um, if you have any comments or questions on this gear, leave those in the section below. For more car videos, subscribe to my channel. In the meantime, thanks for watching.